If you're recording tutorial just like me, then maybe you are wondering how to place your face on top of your screen record just like that. So today I'm going to show you how you can do that exactly. So here in Premiere Pro, you can see I have already made my project. So the first one is my face cam. This track is my face cam and the second one is screen record. If I just disable screen record, you can see there is a face cam video underneath of my screen record. So if I want to put my face cam on top of my screen record, then I need to duplicate that face cam, right? To duplicate the face cam, you need to just press Alt and then click and drag this face cam video on top of your screen record. Then it will make a copy of your face cam video. Now I want to crop this video in a circular shape and I want to put a border around the shape, right? I can do it easily from the opacity section. If I go to opacity and if I then click on this ellipse mask tool, then I can crop this video. If I press shift and then click and drag this, then it will make a perfect circular mask and I can make my video just like that using opacity mask. But if you use opacity mask, then you will not be able to put a border around that. For that reason we are not going to use opacity mask i'm just deleting that for now i need to go to effects section then i need to search for a effect called alpha adjust then just click and drag this alpha adjust on top of your face cam video just like that nothing is happening so we need to go to effects control section by the way if you don't find effects and effects control panel always you can go to window then you can enable effects control and effects panel from here so from the effects control panel you can see here is the alpha adjust effect now we can make a mask from this section if i just want to make a mask just i have to click on this section then again we need to make a mask just by clicking shift and then clicking and dragging this section just like that this is not working right now because we need to change some settings from our alpha adjust so first one is you need to click on this inverted section then you can click invert alpha on this section so you have to enable inverted and invert alpha then you will see the mask is working properly now you can just decrease the feather we don't need the feather for this purpose now i want to add a border around my face so to do that i need to go to effects panel again and then i have to search for paint bucket then click and drag this paint bucket on top of your face cam video just release that then again get back to effects control then go to paint bucket and from here you need to change fill selector to alpha channel and then you need to change stroke to stroke then you'll see there is a stroke around your face so i need to increase the stroke size to increase the stroke size i need to increase stroke width just click and drag it okay that is fine for me then you can change the color of your stroke i am selecting white now you can scale down the video if you click motion then you can just click and drag this section to make it small or you can just change the scale size from here you can just decrease the scale size just like that now position your video where you want to put it so that's it that's how you can make a circular mask around your face and you can put your face cam on top of your screen record now you can make a preset so that you don't need to do it every time to make a preset you need to click uh, motion then press ctrl and select alpha adjust then press ctrl and select paint bucket after selecting these three sections you need to right click here and you need to click save preset you can name it rounded mask then click ok so from now if you want to apply this effect you don't need to do it again and again you can just apply that preset so let me show you how you can do that i'm deleting this section again i'm making a copy of that video and then i need to go to effects then i need to go to presets and here you will see rounded mask if you just click and drag this rounded mask on top of your video then you can see it is doing everything automatically so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this video then you can give me a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel and if you want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye